Hey, what's up? I'm here to give you all your messages. I'm using some Florida water, okay, just to cleanse the energy and so forth, okay? Um, also, I'm gonna just share this. Um, if you're homeless, um, get some Florida water, okay? Put it on the back of your neck, okay? Put it on your crown chakra, all of that type stuff um, is what I'm being guided to tell you. That's what I did as well when, um, when I was sleeping in my car, okay? But I always you know use this before i turn the camera on but for whatever reason i did it on camera so maybe you guys need to get some florida water or um cleanse your space or keep yourself protected okay ward off bad energies okay do whatever it is you can i feel like there's symbolism in me doing that it's kind of like maybe you guys need to wear some type of symbols um you guys could be wearing like the infinity sign you guys could be wearing cowrie shells you guys could be wearing an uh, evil eye anything that's going to any type of crystals anything that is going to uh help you to feel protected i saw one-on-one -on, -one on the phone as well all right so just really doing what you it's like practicing your spiritual practices 111 Getting in tune with your real self, with your higher self, is what I'm picking up on. Uh, some of you guys are going to the Botanica or need to go to the Botanica or you guys are spending money like on your spiritual items or you guys are restocking or you need to restock or something. Also, something about your altar, setting up your altar. It's like talking to your ancestors, okay? So, we're definitely going to see what the energy is for you all here. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. All right. Thank you for everyone that is watching. You guys can give this video a thumbs up and you guys can also um, look your personals down below in the description bar or comment section. Got a lot of, got some specials going on for you guys or some good deals, I should say. So let's see. Great spirit. What messages are here? I saw Queen of... Um, pentacles and also six of wands so it's like you're focused on work you're winning at work yeah you're committed to something with this hierophant here it could be your spiritual practices whatever it is it's making you a lot of money it's making you very abundant all right it's giving me sitting at the table with different uh people higher ups uh, <clears throat> people on your same level you're sitting at the other at the table with other hierophants it's like you could be sitting at the other table you know how they say um the kids got to sit over at this table and everybody, the adults, the adults table and the kids table. So it's kind of like you're at the adults table here with this hierophant. You're sitting with other adults. You're sitting with other hierophants. You're sitting with other spiritual teachers or you guys could be discussing spiritual practices among a group of people. Okay. This could be church or something like that too, you know, but it's like you're, you're an authoritative energy. It's like you're a boss, you're an authoritative and you're, you're at the table with other bosses, with other authorities. You guys are discussing things, paperwork, accountants, um, whoever you are, whatever you do, sales team meeting, something like that. But whatever you're doing, you're very committed, okay, to, to this, to yourself, to this project, to your family. It's making you very abundant. Yeah, you're committed to doing something that's making you a lot of money. Whatever this is you're doing, it's making you a lot of money, okay? It's like you can stand on your own two feet. That, that's been coming up a lot, standing on your own two feet. Because you have a firm, emotionally sound uh, uh, foundation under you with this father of baskets, yeah, but you guys are definitely very well off or abundant or that's what you're working towards. Or it's like I see you gaining some type of money from whatever this is you're committed to. This hierophant, this is a spiritual teacher. This is religious. This is traditional here, this hierophant. This is commitment. This could be a marriage, an institution, a, an organization, a company. All right, yeah, someone looks like she's dressed for church or she's just very classy. <clears throat> you may dress very modest or you may be very modest like she got the church hat on and everything okay so you dress very modest three of baskets maybe you're dressing like this going out you guys could be going to a funeral as well my condolences but it's like you guys are going out for a picnic or you guys are going out for lunch with friends or dinner with friends this could be a work group you're hanging out with or you're connecting with you guys are making some, doing some type of candle making or you guys are making some type of art or pottery. When you go out with your friends, you guys are like doing some type of, you know, um, <clears throat> sipping paint or you're creating some type of ceramic um, pottery or some type of pottery. Something you're creating or you're making at this table here or you're working really hard on something for this group or for your company and you're going to be celebrating soon. Whatever it is you're working on. All right, Grace Bear, what messages do you have? All right. 
we have the six of knives that popped out. So you're moving forward with your commitments. Whatever you've committed to, you're moving forward to. You're sticking to your guns. You're sticking to it. <clears throat> Whatever you're deciding to move to stick to right now, it's a good look. Definitely move forward with it. The sun, you're receiving clarity or you will receive clarity. Somebody may be receiving good news or some type of clarity about a pregnancy as well. A baby boy. Yeah, look, there goes that table. You guys are sitting at the dinner table. I'm telling you, you guys are sitting at a table. Something about sitting at a table. You're setting your table. You're preparing your table here. You're healing any type of conflict. But you are, you are moving forward with some type of commitment, with some type of spiritual practice. This hierophant is God showing up. This is God. This is spirit. So spirit is moving you forward. Your spirituality is moving you forward. Your religion is moving you forward. Or your spiritual practices, your spiritual beliefs is moving you forward in a, in a, in a, in a good new direction. In a new direction. If anything was difficult, it's like you're, it's going to be easy. It's like you're sliding down. It's like you're having fun. Whatever, wherever you're going, you're having fun. It's like, wee, you're sliding. It's giving me that, um, like with the pig on the commercial, the pig was hanging out the window saying, wee. Yeah, I know a commercial I'm talking about. Yeah, the strength, something about strengthening your money. You're strengthening your money or you're trying to find a way to strengthen your money with this father of coins and the strength card. Leo energy here, Taurus energy here. I'm hearing like saved, sacred, sacral. Yeah, somebody could be being saved or something like that. Um, it's like sacral energy, sacral chakra energy. You're having fun. You're letting go of religious or spirituality or something. You're, you're, be, you're having more fun or something. Something is very sacred to you. Yeah, daughter of wands. You're moving forward. You're getting some type of good news or you're, you're traveling. What other messages are here? What other messages are here for whoever is watching, whoever is tuned in, tapped in? The high priestess. We got the high priestess and the hierophant. This is a match. This could be a spiritual connection that is coming together, something that is very traditional, a marriage. This hierophant represents marriage, and then we have the high priestess. So this, this, is, this is each other's counterparts, the hierophant and the high priestess. The Hierophant, you could say kind of like the High Priest as well, so to speak. But it's like the High Priest and the High Priestess is here. But it's the Hierophant in, in place of the High Priest. This wants to be out. What is this? Eight of Coins. Yeah, you guys are working on something. Somebody may want to build something with you. You guys could literally be building a physical structure like a she shed or some type of additional... Um, structure onto your property you guys could be building or something with wood or construction here you guys are building something or somebody uh, wants to build with you or you're working on something somebody wants to work with you here yeah i see somebody moving forward i see a commitment that's moving forward I, i'm hearing full throttle yeah whatever this is it's, it's going very fast it's like you're being pushed down this hill you guys are being pushed very quickly into something you may not see this coming with this two of knives yeah, it may stress you out. You may be like, oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Like, I wasn't ready for this. Like, you may just try to stuff your head, like, in the couch or something. Like, bury your head, your head in your hands. Like, oh, I wasn't ready for this or something. It's like you have to make this quick decision or something. There's two of wands here. You're moving forward, though. You're going to decide to move forward. You may take some time to think about it, though, is what I see. What's this hierophant? Why is Hierophant here? I'm going to clarify with another deck. The Chariot. You guys are moving forward very quickly. Something can be happening within seven days. Why is the Hierophant here? I'm trying to think if I should get the Kipper deck. Some type of celebration here. Yeah, I'm going to get the Kipper deck. Why is the Hierophant here? Yeah. Poverty. Yeah, something has made you feel left out or something. Number 37 is significant. If you've been in a poverty situation, you're getting some type of justice or you may have to go to court for something. This could be like an eviction notice or something. Maybe you got kicked out or you're getting kicked out or something like that is what I'm picking up on. 
and yeah, and it's leaving you in some type of despair here, and you're trying to figure out something with your work. I feel like many of you guys are trying to figure out your work. You guys could have got a message of concern about your work. You see this down here? This message of concern in regards to your work, maybe you got let go from your job or, or something like that, or maybe you're waiting on a message or something. All right, let me see. What else is here? But I do feel like you may feel like left out or so you may somebody may feel like you left them out. This is giving me 10 of wands energy. The seven and three is 10 here in this poverty. So that's giving me like your poverty has been a burden for you. You feeling left out. People feel you've been leaving people out or you or people have been leaving you out and it's making you feel some type of way or something. Dang. Yeah. This community or something. It's like these cards is all over the place. Let's see. What else is here? Yeah, we got rats here and mice. So that could be your situation. You may need to call an exterminator. Some of you guys could live in New York or where there's like big mice and rats or something like that. I don't know. Or there's a rat in your energy or something like that. I don't know. Let's see. Look at what popped out. So you're definitely getting justice. So don't worry about it. I know it's easier said than done, but this could be somebody to feel like they, you left them out in the cold, 1111 or something, because we do have lovers here. But I also feel like whatever, if you were in this poverty situation, no matter what this is for you, it could be money, it could be relationships, you're going to get some type of justice. You leaving somebody out in the cold may have been their justice. They don't deserve to be in your energy. So you had to leave them out in the cold. Kevin Hart's daughter, somebody had to go. It's like, somebody had to get voted off the fucking island. <laughs> like, no, I'm not, you can't, I'm, I'm hearing denied, rejected, unaccepted. Yeah, this lover's energy just, I don't know if y'all saw it, but it literally just slid out. Yeah, somebody wants to make us. Um, I'll make love to you like you want me to. Somebody is thinking about making love to you. Somebody wants to make love to you. Yeah, somebody is dreaming about how it would feel to be with you or to be sexually intimate with you or to make love to you. Yeah, somebody wants to make love to you. Maybe this person that feels left out, something could have ended. You're elevating, you're growing, you're, you're reaching some type of milestone or some type of money here. Wait, wait, what? That's interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, let me not get distracted. Don't get distracted. Stay on topic. Something caught my eye. Okay. Something could be catching your eye. Somebody could be sending you something that is catching your eye or something like that. Or something could be throwing you off. Yeah, look, this wealthy man says you, you privileged. This wealthy man wants to take care of you or something. 12 and 13, look. Because this lovers is here. Yeah, this, this wealthy man sees this privileged lady. Somebody wants to be close to you. They, you're not working. Somebody could have stole something from you at work. Or you or something about thief and uh, occupation. You Again, you feeling like you're being robbed at work. Or maybe you're being robbed of work. You're not getting work. But guess what? You're going to get some type of unexpected income. Maybe you feel like you're in poverty because of your work situation or something like that. But it does work out for you. You do get some type of unexpected income. It may come in slow, but you're going to get everything you need on time. Okay? So you may get the exact amount that you need, like, when you need it. And then that may be it, but at least you got what you needed. So that may be the type of situation that you may be feeling like you're in. You may be getting some type of money from a marriage as well or for some type of relationship. Let's dive into this occupation and thief. Okay, yeah, look, child wanted to flip out. We have main mail that's right here and imprisonment. Yeah, you could be feeling imprisoned at work or something. This main male matured into this mature man. He grew up. Somebody grew up. This could be your child. This could be your child that grew up, okay? Working. They could be working here. Okay, yeah, look, high honor. You're high honor. So no matter what, and look, we have a mature woman. So no matter what situation you were going through with your work, you have this new beginning because you're high honor. Spirit sees you. Spirit sees who you are and what you're doing. And spirit is always taking care of you. Yeah, spirit is gonna um, give you some type of great fortune or you have some type of great fortune in your destiny here that you're meant to receive, 26 and six. 
266 could be significant. And then we got this main male again. So this money can be coming from a person. You know, God uses people to bless us. It could also be from a court case or something that's, I'm hearing long overdue. So something can be long overdue and you're now receiving it here. Let's see what other energy is here, okay? We're just going to pull some more tarot. It may continue the story or be something completely different. What else is here, Great Spirit, for whoever is watching this video? Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, all right? Like this video. You guys can also book your personals down below in the description bar. What messages are here? You let people hear, spirits. If you're watching this, spirit led you here. Yeah, you're cutting something off. You're setting boundaries with people at work here. You're in some type of new collaboration or establishment. You working with people. People may want to work with you, but you're being very careful about who you work with. Be very careful about who you work with at this time. People may be it's like, yeah, you're shedding the light on something. You're finding something out. It's like you're calling people out. People may just be trying to work with you, but you you don't want to just work with anybody. This could be like a group project or something like that. It's kind of like there's a school project and you know how the teacher says, y'all got to work together. And you're like, well, I don't want to work with them or something like that. It's like, that's what it's given. It's like you taking a closer look like, mm, after, it's on second thought, I don't know if I want to work with y'all. You shining your light like, you know what? I'm better working over here by myself. That's the energy I'm getting with that and this queen of swords here. So you could be setting boundaries at work or cutting people off or within the community or something like that here. Yeah, it's like, you're like, you know, I'd rather work by myself. I could do this on my own. It's like you have the right people that you need or something. I don't know what this is. Or people want to work with you. So before you work with them, you're vetting people. You could be this boss that's vetting people here. You could be doing interviews. You're interviewing somebody trying to find the perfect person for this position or something. We have the page of cups here. Definitely something with work with this emperor energy. Yeah, definitely. There's this something that's going on at work. You're taking control of a work situation. Again, you're this boss. You're a boss. You're a boss or you're meant to be a boss. Or there's this emperor, this boss energy that's around you. If this is not you, you could be a boss too. But there's also, even if you're not a boss actually at work, you still have that boss energy. You get up and you get shit done. You, you make boss moves. You do what you need to do. And boss even, you know, you, you boss up and get through hurdles and persevere through situations that come through in your life, right? Okay, but there's definitely somebody you work with. This is somebody that you're that you're literally working with, okay? With this emperor and this three of pentacles. This is a work situation. This is a community situation. Something could be overbearing or somebody could be you trying to use their, uh, uh, their power, their authority. Um, uh, um, they're abusing their power or their authority is what I'm picking up for some of you all as well. That's not for everybody. I'm also hearing cousin or cake. Or cakes or something. You could work with your cousin with cakes or something. Katie, okay? Katie, Texas. But somebody here is, um, this emperor could be in your energy and they want to work with you as well. And you're kind of skeptical. Maybe you're setting up some type of boundary or something like that. I'm hearing it's kind of like you're just setting up boundaries or you're just getting started on something. It's kind of like as soon as you get ready to leave or as soon as you get ready to set something up, some somebody comes in or something happens in just the nick of time or something like that. Something about timing or something like that. Somebody barely makes it, but they make it. It's like you're almost missing some type of deadline or work deadline or somebody's in a rush to call you because there's some type of deadline. I don't know what this is. It's going to resonate for y'all. I'm reading for y'all. So y'all have to say something about a crown and, and the head. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. This person carries a lot of responsibility. They're, this person could be very busy. You could be very busy. Scheduling lives, scheduling or scheduling or something or setting up your lives, combining your lives. This person wants to combine their life with you. Yeah, somebody wants to work with you. This emperor wants to work with you. This emperor may want to present you with a position. And again, this may come as a surprise to you. And like I said, you're going to think about it. Remember earlier I said there's a choice you have. We got the hierophant earlier and the 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 high priestess. I told you y'all moving forward with the connection. Somebody wants to work with you. I told you that earlier. Somebody wants to work with you. So this is the same story. And then we had the, God, God darn it. And then we got the wealthy man and the privileged lady earlier too. Yeah, again, a lot of work energy. This could be someone that you work with. You could be meeting someone at work. But we have this eight of pentacles, this hierophant here, and this high priestess. This is a very spiritual couple here. You guys both have gifts. There could have been some type of pause or break between you all too as well.
I just said the Eight of Pentacles. 88. You guys are abundant together. Yeah. Somebody is bringing you an abundant offer that you cannot resist. Ooh. That's what I heard. Ooh, Spirit says that's the truth. You're having some type of groundbreaking breakthrough or some type of breakthrough here. Yeah. It's like somebody is done walking away. It's like no more having to walk away. Yeah, the sadness is done and over with. It's all been reversed. The curse has been reversed. Yeah, you don't see this joy is coming. This happiness, this win is coming. I told you, you're moving forward. Yeah, you guys are definitely finding out some type of truth about some type of offer. Somebody's going to com communicate with you with this Ace of Swords and tell you what's really going on or what's really been on their mind. This job is going to communicate with you. Somebody really wants to work with you. What's this Eight of Pentacles? 888. Double Eight of Pentacles. That's double jobs. You may be getting offered multiple jobs, but we have two, two Eight of Pentacles and then we got an Eight of Wands. Eight, 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 triple eights here. So a lot of abundance. Again, I think I mentioned in this read something about an infinity sign here. Okay. So yeah, for sure, you're working on something here. You're building something. You're working on something. Some type of work communication is coming in. Okay. It could be from, um, we have this devil energy here. It could be um, somebody that is really admiring you, really obsessed with you. Whatever this work opportunity is going to bring you a lot of possessions, material possessions with this devil card. Okay. We have the lovers here. We have, okay. We have Aries here. We have the Taurus energy here. We have the Pisces energy here. And then we have, um, a Taurus energy again with this uh, uh, um, Eight of Pentacles. And then we got this Capricorn energy here. And we have this Gemini energy here. So it could be any of those signs that you are or that's coming towards you. Yeah, this this devil energy, this Capricorn energy, this, this Gemini energy. It's like they've been praying about you. You've been praying to get over your devils or your toxicities or something like that. Yeah, there's a partnership coming in. You can't deny this. Yeah, you and this Aries, y'all starting off new. You and this Leo, you and this fire sign, okay? You and this Capricorn, you and this Gemini, y'all starting brand new. This is definitely a connect, a work connection, or this is, it could be, it's definitely a work connection for somebody then, because I said it. But this is definitely a love connection or a romantic connection. Like I said, I'll make love to you. Somebody wants to make love to you. Somebody wants to be romantically involved. Somebody is obsessed with you. Somebody, again, look, they want to make love to you. This is a sexual energy here with this devil here and the lovers here. Somebody wants to make love to you. Somebody wants to have sex with you. Somebody wants to put it on you real good. That's what I'm picking up on here. This two of cups energy. Okay. Oh, I am about to go there. Somebody want to lick you. You see that? The tongue there and the, the hand. Y'all know I don't be talking like that. You feel me? Somebody want to lick on, lick on you, lick on your body. Again, there's another eight. Quadruple eight, 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 eight. That infinity sign. Something about eights and infinities is very important, very significant. You are abundant. You are everlasting. Some, this is going to last forever. Yeah, look, somebody vows to be with you. Whoever this is, this devil, this Capricorn, okay, they vow to be with you. They a little obsessed with you. They going to be like, where you going to get yours over here? Like, come get this before you go. That That's, that's the energy I'm getting. They going to want to... <laughs> somebody want to put it down brandy energy if you put it down i'm gonna pick it up uh you can put it down i'm gonna pick it up or something like that you know but it's like somebody wants to put it down on you somebody is like obsessed with what you got like that that tool that was that that yoni somebody is like they it's that good good you got that good good they got that good good or somebody's obsessed with with how good you are or how good you feel or something like that. How good your, your sex feels. How good your energy feels. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to work and build with you. When I'm asking about this eight, this this uh, this eight of pentacles here, this is work. This is building. This is a lot of material possessions. This is love here. This is vacations. This is trips is what I'm seeing. This lover is actually romantic. We saw the two of cups here. This is more so friendship. So this friend turns into a lover. This friend wants to be your lover. Because I was going to say, this is actual romantic. This is actual y'all being together. This here is a friendship. It doesn't have to be romantic, but it's, it's, it's a soulmate. It's a good connection, you know, but it doesn't have to be actual romantic, you know. But this lovers, y'all lovers, you feel me? 
So it's like you guys were friends first, so maybe your friend is becoming your lover or something like this. Somebody can't get enough of you. So it's a lot of pat, baby. It's a lot of passion and energy. Somebody is thinking about this or y'all rolling in the sheets, rolling in the bed or something because, baby, that's the energy that is coming through. That's what I'm picking up on. Any other messages here? Yeah, temperance. Look, this is long term. And look what's peeping, peeping out right here. This two of cups again. I don't know if y'all heard that horn. Confirmation. This is a yes for this person. This love is protected. But let's get one more to pop out. Anything else? One final message. Any final messages? Y'all go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and book y'all readings down below. Okay. Seven of Cups. You could have options. Queen of Wands. Yeah, you look real sexy. A lot of people are obsessed with you. You have a lot of options. You have a lot on your mind. Seven of Cups. Yeah, something is drink. Something took a very long time, but it's here. It's some type of good news or some type of news is here. I said something about good news in another read. Go look at that one as well. You could be confused or you could be not seeing something clearly because something is taking so long or you may feel like something has taken so long to have finally arrived to you. Look what's here. And we already got the emperor out here. This emperor is on his way to get this woman. This emperor is on his way to get this empress. You could have your sword up. You could be kind of, uh, but they, they go get through that. They, they want you. This person is not going to let you go. I don't know who this is for, but somebody is confused. I'm hearing separation or non-contact, no contact. Maybe you're in no contact with this person. It's something, or maybe I had a fight or a fallout or something. It was good, and then y'all fell out or something. But somebody wants you still, or somebody wants to come towards you, or somebody you haven't talked to in a long time. They're obsessed with you, and they want to come towards you. I'm hearing Dan, Mick, or Mikey, or Mike, or Vic, something like that. But yeah, somebody wants to come tell you something that they're excited about, or some new project they started, or some good news, or somebody wants to have you start on this project with them. Yeah, they want their empress. Seven of Cups, one more for the Seven of Cups. They're thinking of different options and ways to bring this offer to you. Yeah, you can't make this shit up. They're thinking about how they can invest in you, but they have too many options or they may be confused and like, do I do this? Do I do this? Do I do this? Do I do this? And you may be confused about something as well that has nothing to do with them because it's taken so long to receive with this Knight of Pentacles, okay? And you've been thinking about it. You've invested in something for so long, but you're not seeing the payoff from it and it's confusing you. But something is just slow. Something is just taking a long time, but it doesn't mean you're not gonna get it. Something happens in the nick of time. It, every, something is right on time. So don't worry about it so it's like something comes rushing in at the last minute this person this idea this money something you invested in it's kind of like boom it finally just blooms out of nowhere it's like one day you go to sleep and like for years it wasn't doing anything you're trying to figure it out and then one day you wake up and literally boom it blooms it's there the money is in your account the person is there for you or you, you see the person with your own two eyes after not having it or after it taking so long something actually realizes you're actualizing something something comes into reality for you you. It's no longer in your head. You guys are no longer just thinking about each other. You guys are no longer just thinking about this money, thinking about this job, thinking about where your manifestations are. It's actually here. This person is actually here. It's actually coming in. But you can have multiple people coming in as well. This The nights that you have two nights that are here, I feel like it's the same person. But for some of you guys, it could be different. But again, some of you guys may have a lot of options too. These two options to choose from and you got to decide who you want to invest in. 777 seven, seven here. 777. Seven, seven. So sevens and eights. You guys are very lucky. You guys are very blessed here. You guys are going to be blocking somebody. You're blocking something or you guys are being protected. You guys are protecting your energy from small offers. But somebody may be trying to be your friend or somebody may want to be your friend. But yeah, this person, they backstabbed you or something before. And so it's like, uh, they may not be in that energy now because it's turned over. It's reversed. But it's like, if this offer is just still too small, block it. I wouldn't take it, you know? Or something, it's like they're not up to par or they just want to be in your energy just to kind of see what you got going on. I'm hearing tag along. People just want to tag along in your energy. I was trying to close the read out, but y'all know now I got to be fucking nosy. 
empress. You're this empress. You have a lot of people, a new, a lot of new relationships is what I'm picking up on. A lot of new relationships are coming in with this page of pentacle and this uh, eight of uh, wands. Yeah, because you're this mature woman and you got all this great fortune. So you have a lot of suitors. You have a lot of people that want to be around you. You have a lot of people that want to be your friend. You have a lot of people that want to work with you. That's why you got your sword up. You're setting these boundaries because you're this empress. Yeah, you're calling judgment on these people. You're like, you're cool. You're cool. Fuck you. You're cool. Or you're fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's what I meant to say. You could be saying something backwards. Some of you guys could have dyslexia. I'm hearing autonomy. Something is autonomous. Anonymous. Anonymous. This person is anonymous. I'm hearing anonymous by Bobby Brown as well. So you could have an anonymous stalker or watcher or somebody that is anonymous around you or you're remaining anonymous for something. But yeah, you're the empress and you're calling the judge. I mean, you're calling judgment on people. Yeah, because you're focused on your manifestations and your own justice here. Look, other people are having tower moments or something. Maybe you were having tower moments, but I see the sun is peeking out or trying to peek out here. One more about this page of um, Pentacles. I'm going to go. You guys give this video a thumbs up like it for me please oh this ten of pentacles excuse me this five this i was getting ready to say five of pentacles somebody could be in a five of pentacles as well okay but you're going to receive some type of offer spirit is saying it's leading to this ten of pentacles here so whatever you're doing is definitely leading you to the ten of pentacles so this offer i would accept the first so you, ha you have multiple offers coming in some of these offers you're going to have to protect yourself from they're too small for you to take other offers they're going to be the perfect one for you to invest in and it's going to grow into the ten of pentacles so again that's why we have this here don't be confused about the many different offers coming to you they may catch you off guard and you may be like oh i ain't gonna get god or i ain't go you know and i ain't gonna get confused okay well you're gonna have some offers coming in there's some things you're gonna have to choose from so some of these are gonna be good uh, and that you can take and it's gonna lead to this ten of pentacles here okay and it's gonna be your justice but like we saw previously some of these you need to block out because they're no bueno they try to put you in manipulative situations but they see you doing good so they want to come back but they're still too small they're still immature they're still in the page energy so you have a lot of pages you have a lot of new energies some of these pages are going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. Let me put it like this. Some of them you need to block. Plain and simple. Either way, you're getting justice. And if even if you don't block them when you should have, they're going to stay in your energy until they do something to make you realize, okay, let me cut this person off. I need to, yeah, no. You guys need to be comfortable being by yourself, being alone, being within your own skin. And then you guys don't have to worry about anybody else. And the right people, will you will attract the right people to you. I say in my skin, baby, I say to myself. It's like, because you just don't know who people are. People have ulterior motives and so forth nowadays. You know what I mean? And so forth. So, I mean, I'm cool and cordial with people, of course. But, you know, it's like nowadays until unless you really know that hey this person is meant to really i don't just like to have meaningless conversations or just you know it's like and that's how you guys are you know it's like you guys you guys don't like wasting your time it, it makes you cranky or irritated like what like what the fuck look i told y'all i saw the sun I'm telling y'all, you guys are going to get clarity about this work group or about this group project. Or it's, I'm here invited. You're being invited into this group, into this group project. It's a yes. Go for it. It could be a new work opportunity or somebody wants to collab or work with you. Spirit is saying yes or something's going to be revealed. I'm telling you, look at all this good, good energy. People are watching you and you're getting your new opportunities. People want to be in your energy here. They want to bring you these love offers. You got a lot of people watching you. You're doing very well. You have overflow. You're in a good energy of love. You're in a great high vibrational frequency. And there's just a lot of people that want to work with you and be with you. It's giving me the energy like, let's say how I split the deck. I need to put this deck over here and then just only pull from this deck. I don't know. But look, you're moving forward. Okay. But anyways, I'm closing the readout. Thank you guys so much. Uh, connect with me down below. And I will see you all in the next one. I am Coach Nayla Latrice. Peace.